Yes, Abbas. Wolfhilda. Look soon in. Good traveler, what seek you? Perhaps I can help. My prices are competitive. Hmm. No. Perhaps later. Those raiders killed our cattle! Danes did not do this! It's the... We know it's the Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Yeah! Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? Not touch your herd. You fools are making this worse. hard for farmers and country folk. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? 
eye to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there's a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the Maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. You there? What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? Aid me. Be my eyes. I saw it. All big and hairy. Staggering across the wall. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It was a Jotun, as great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name. Grendel. Beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Rothgar and his band of Danes were the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. Or... Far worse. I 
should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. <laughs> Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers, and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most art. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name. Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues.